Here are a few pieces of software that all new and aspiring virtual assistants need to get to grips with in 2024. And there's one on the list that you might not have seen on other lists. Okay, so these aren't in order of importance, they're all equal. So number one on the list is Canva. You literally cannot live without it. Canva, if you've not had a look already, is like a graphic creation piece of software that you can create graphics for your website, for social media, you can create presentations, yeah, goodbye PowerPoint. You can do that for your clients. You can create graphics for your clients if that's that's a service that you're going to offer. Canva is absolutely brilliant. You can create logos, infographics. I'm currently creating a journal for my daughter that she'll sell on Amazon. So yeah, can't live without Canva. And you don't need the paid version unless you want to access additional templates or more graphics. So entirely up to you. You can get lots done on the free version. Okay, so GDPR, the old data protection. It's essential that we ensure our businesses run as safely as possible and in line with GDPR regulations in the UK. So go and check out ico.org and then you also need to register for GDPR. So one of the questions when you go to register is who will be processing data? And that's you. So you need to go and register and it's about 35 quid. So why am I talking about that? That's not a piece of software, but I'm just leading up to it. Hold on a minute. So part of your commitment to um, conforming to GDPR is to keep personal data safe. So clients will share their passwords with you they may share their credit card details with you if you're booking flights for them they may share their passport details for, with you you can't be keeping those on whatsapp or on your phone or in the back of a notebook written down somewhere it, they have to be s securely stored now i use and recommend LastPass. Some of you, sometimes people come to me and said, oh, no, I'm not using LastPass because they've had a couple of hacks. Full stop. The only way you know they've had hacks, or we all know that they've had hacks, is because they've told us. Any of their customers, they emailed and told them and said, this is what we've done to mitigate that happening again. Hacks happen all the time. Honestly, Google GDPR breach and then click on news and see all of the things that have been happening just the last month, how many breaches people have had. It, it's, it's unbelievable. There are other password storing pieces of software. So one of them is called one, the number one password. There's another one, which is like almost like a mission impossible one where you share the password. And as soon as the person has opened it, it then destructs like the laptop doesn't destruct just that password and that. So, but I prefer LastPass because you can actually safely share the passwords with your clients if they've got a LastPass account as well. And I also, as I was saying, I like the fact that they've said that they've had hacks and they've acted on them. Whereas the other pieces of software, I've never heard they've had a hack. Hmm, is that because they're not telling anyone? Because no piece of software is 100% safe. I mean, British Airways had a hack. They've got all your passport details. Right, anyway. So another piece of software that you need to learn or would, you would benefit from learning is Toggle. It's T-O-G-G-L. And you, you only need the, pe the free version on this as well. It's a time tracking piece of software so that you can track how long tasks are taking you. It's also useful when you're starting out. So I've got a blog on this, how to work out how long tasks will take as a virtual assistant. So you could use Toggle to do dummy runs, in inverted commas, because I'm not saying give clients stuff for free to work out long, how long something will take. Let's, let, let's think of an example. So imagine one of your services is to create 20 social media graphics. You could do a dummy run with the Toggle timer on while you create five social media graphics, just some general ones and then just times that by four and that will give you how long it takes you to create 20 and then there's your price 30 pound an hour and however long it takes you'll also get clients that want to know how long things are taking so one of my associates works for one of my clients and does on average about 30 to 40 hours a month for them and they 
always want a broken down report of where she's spending her time. Fair play. I'd want that as well if I was spending that much money and using that many hours every month. So yeah, get to grips with Toggle. It, it is easy to use, honestly, and I'm, they've probably got some videos on their own website. If not, I think I've got a video on TikTok about how to use it. Yeah, good luck finding that. So another piece of software, I don't even know what number we're on now, is Calendly. So it's a piece of software that interacts with your online calendar. Yeah, sorry, you're going to have to get rid of your um, paper calendar. That was one of the hardest things I did when I started my VA business, saying goodbye to my Simpsons calendar. I think it was the Simpsons that I used. I had the five. Anyway, right. So Calendly integrates with your online calendar so that you can easily send a link to potential clients so that they can book a discovery call with you. And because it's integrated with your online calendar, if you've got like lip waxing on Tuesday at three o'clock, it will show that you're not available. It won't say the lip waxing, it will just say not available. And it just takes that stress out of going backwards and forwards with somebody and saying, are you available on Tuesday at 12? And they come back and go, ah, I was, I'm not now. So you go back with another date and it, it just stressful. So if you send them the Calendly link, they can book it now here's one you won't see on many lists but it's not the one that you know the it, the dun 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 drum one at the end so this one i'm going to recommend is you use you learn wordpress so you you won't see this on many lists of software that virtual assistants need to learn but wordpress is invaluable you've probably seen various va's websites most of them would have been created using wordpress now, some people take a while to learn it, others learn it very quickly, but eventually everyone does if they persevere. I've got a course that teaches people how to use WordPress because not only does it enable you to create your own website, I mean, how cool is that? But it enables you to have this skill that you can then sell as a service. So most of your clients' websites will be built and created using WordPress. And they're going to want them updated from time to time. Perhaps they've won an award or been nominated for an award and they want to add it to their website. Or they need somebody to be putting blogs on there. Or they need new images because they're no longer seven stone. They've now, they're now 14 stone. So it, it, WordPress is a real skill for virtual assistants to have in their back pocket. And not many have it. So it's worth looking into. So... I know you're waiting for that one thing that you will not be finding on other lists for software that virtual assistants should be using. It's coming after the next two. Okay, so this next recommendation, I will admit I'm quite biased, but I really think virtual assistants should get to grips with Google. <laughs> I don't mean like the internet search engine. I mean like Google email, Google Drive, Google Meet, all different pieces of software within Google that just puts everything in one place and makes it easier. So if you use the online Google Calendar, if you're setting a meeting with somebody, you can send them a Google Meet link automatically. Yeah, you can do that with Zoom as well, but having everything in one place is incredibly useful. You've then got Google Drive, which enables you to create spreadsheets and documents, and you can share those with clients. And you can both work on that document at the same time without having to set, download it and send it via email um, and calling it final version one final 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 version two final 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 version three and then everybody gets lost so do have a look at google and all the different pieces of software that come under google workspace because it is brilliant now i did say i'm biased because i personally i hate outlook i found microsoft and, and outlook and all its other software to just not be getting into 2024 for too long. They just keep adding to things and adding to Outlook and taking stuff away. It's just not intuitive anymore. I hate it. So that's why I recommend Google if you're on the same level as me. Google's so easy to learn. Okay, so when you take on a new client, this is another piece of software I'm gonna recommend. I don't know how to pronounce it, so bear with me. But when you take on a new client, you will send them a contract. You need to send them a contract. It's not it's not a legal requirement, but if you don't do it and you've got any issues afterwards, you, I can't say it because it might not get, but you, you're up shit creek without a paddle, basically. So for contracts, I get mine from Coffee Clatch. 
and they're written in accordance with UK law and they're written by legal professionals. I, I use them, like I said, and I trust them and I'm one of their affiliates, which means I can get you 10% off if you use code CAF10. And if you do buy anything using code CAF10, I also get a kickback as well. So when you get clients, you're going to have to get them to sign contracts and gone are the days when you need to send it through the post and get a wet signature. I know you know that anyway. So the software I've been using lately is, I don't know how to pronounce it, it's X-O-D-O. So is it Zodo? Xodo? I don't know how to pronounce it. But at the time of speaking, it's free for three contracts per month to be sent out. And seeing as you only have to send a contract to a client once, you don't have to keep sending it every time that you do a different job for them, it's highly unlikely as a new VA that you're going to send more than three contracts out a month. So you don't need to pay for the software yet. So have a look at that. It's always best to have a look at all of this software before you take on a client. Otherwise, when a client comes to you, they're interested and they want to get going, you're like, panic, overwhelm, run away, close the business. Right, okay. The one piece of software that you won't be finding on other lists, or I don't think you will be anyway, is that you should be using accounting software. And my recommendation is free agent. This isn't for you to use with other clients, this is for you. So I get nothing by recommending free agent. I am one of their partners, but that's because I'm a bookkeeper registered with them, but I get no kickback by recommending them. The reason I'm saying that you should learn accounting software is because I think it's been pushed back to 2026 now. The UK government want all businesses, sole traders, to submit their accounts and tax returns at the end of the financial year electronically. And the only way you can do that is using accounting software and free agent is ready for that. And if you get a business bank account with Metal, which is M-E-T-T-L-E, or NatWest or the Royal Bank of Scotland, you get free agent for free. So why not set up a Metal account now um, as your business bank account and then get the free agent software and you can have a play with it. It's great. I love it. It's really intuitive. Their support is fantastic and their actual chat support, but also the the advice they've got in their FAQs and their blogs and that is brilliant, just written in plain English. So have a look at that so that you're ready. There's no point that if we get to 2026 and the government say, right, okay, everybody submit online and you're like panicking, the whole world's going to be, the whole world, exaggeration, the whole country's going to be panicking at that point and you can just sit back with your cigar and your white cat, spin in your chair and go, I was ready in 2024. So you may find online that they say that this is going to be implemented April 2025, but I've read news reports that say it's being pushed back to 26. Don't quote me on any of it. Just get yourself ready for it. Now, you may be thinking, I'm not going to have a business bank account, but it's a little bit of extra information for you on why I recommend that. A lot of current accounts do not allow you to put business transactions through your current account. It's in the terms and conditions. And if you go against that and they find it, they may close your current account for however long and that's going to cause you a lot of stress. And also they could even be really anal and close the account and not let you have it again, but they let you have your money. And then when you go and open another account, you have to declare that you've had a bank account closed. Yeah, right. Okay, so like I said, I recommend all of these and it's always worth looking at them now, getting familiar with them now and then there's no mad panic and overwhelm when that first client comes because that first client will come 